Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, depending on what time of day it is. It's Saturday, October 29th, 2022, and this is Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live, courtesy of First Congregational Church, right here in the heart of beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood. That's my pal Bugsy doing what he does best, and I hope your Saturday is going well. We return once again to the book Truth for Life for our devotional thought. It was written by Pastor Alistair Begg and is copyright 2021, The Good Book Company. She told her mother-in-law with whom she had worked and said, The man's name with whom I work today is Boaz. And Naomi said to her daughter-in-law, May he be blessed by the Lord, whose kindness has not forsaken the living or the dead. Today, you and I can make the invisible God visible. When Ruth set out for the fields to glean, she never could have known just how wonderful God's provision would be that day. She had already taken refuge in God, but through Boaz, she discovered that the Lord was able to do far more abundantly than all that she could have asked or thought. As God established his covenant with Israel, he revealed his own kindness as one who executes judgment for the fatherless and the widow and loves the traveler, giving them food and clothing. Deuteronomy 10.18 He gave his law to his people, not to make them legalists, but to have them display his character and bring glory to his name through their obedience. Part of that law created a framework to provide for those in difficult circumstances. As Boaz obeyed the Lord's instruction by extending his invitation to Ruth to come and eat in Ruth 2.14, he did so graciously. He had received God's kindness, and he realized he could in turn share that kindness and its abundance with others. He put literal hands and feet to obeying God's commands. And Ruth further discovered God's heart as a result. Boaz's graciousness was paired with generosity. He not only invited Ruth to feast, but also offered her a seat among his harvesters. He encouraged her to eat her fill. He allowed her to take from the best of the grain, not just the leftovers. Despite her social and racial differences, he did not alienate or hold her at arm's length. Quite the reverse. Boaz went beyond what God's law had required. This is but a glimpse of the welcome God extends to us through Jesus as he invites us to his heavenly table. And this is the offer that all of us as Christians should embody. If somebody, whether they're widowed, poor, hurting, or bitter, enters our church gathering or our homes, there ought to be a sense of acceptance because of how God's people embody his love and his care. By the end of that day, Ruth was overwhelmed with the favor Boaz extended toward her. When she returned home with her plentiful provisions, Naomi rejoiced over the generosity, describing it with the word chet, the continual loving kindness and merciful provision of God. Boaz's chet caused Ruth's and Naomi's hearts to worship the God who abounds in love. Boaz's kindness overflowed from the gracious, generous, and continual kindness he had received from God. As fellow recipients of the Lord's care, when you and I extend such kindness to others, they too may come to know him. The invisible God becomes visible in every generation through the compassion of his people. To whom will you extend gracious, generous, unexpected kindness today. For more on this, read the book of Ruth, 
chapter 2, 14 through 23. Father, we are grateful for the day you've given us. Thank you for a Saturday. May we find time to rest today, Lord, to enjoy time with you, to worship. Bless us in this, Father. May we serve you well. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. That'll do it for us on this Saturday edition of Cafe Devo. Before I go, I want to remind all of you that First Congregational Church gathers for worship tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. right here at the point of Saginaw on Washington Street. Come and join us in person. And if you just can't join us in person, connect with us through the live stream that goes up on Facebook at the same time. For now, I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.